The camera for me has just been an amazing source of joy. It's part of like the magic, not getting all the shots. Do you understand how freaking in the moment this makes me? Yo, we're back with another episode of Walkie Talkie. I'm here today with Laura. Laura, what's up? What's up? Can you introduce yourself, let people know what you do? Sure, yeah. <laughs> My name's Laura Fuchs and I'm a New York City photographer and I photograph joy and memories and occasionally fashion, but people, always people, all kinds of people, real people. Um, yeah, and I just documenting my memories. Oh, what cameras are we shooting with today? So these are my, my go-tos. I love my 5D, comes everywhere with me, and I shoot film too, my Contax G2. These are my go-tos, my baby. What lens is that on the Canon? Little pancake, 40 millimeter. 40. Yeah, both really noticeable on the street. Where are we shooting today? I don't know yet, let's frolic. I started with disposable cameras growing up and loved it and loved the reward of being able to show people their photos. Kind of just have been a compulsive documenter of memories. I'm like an overly nostalgic person to a fault. Like if I see you in the street, I'll take your picture because I just want to remember bumping into you. Like I'm crazy for it. And I, I think it enhances my memory. It just makes me cherish, I think, every day. But yeah, I started doing photography professionally 10 plus years ago, but totally self-taught. Started running around with a, an elf camera, I think, point and shoot, and just was photographing everything and has now turned into a career. I'm pretty new to shooting film, um, maybe for the last three or four years. Yeah, my good friend, Justin Cisson, uh, who's an amazing beverage, portrait food photographer uh, encouraged me to get into film and I bought my first Yashica T4 off of him have since upgraded to the contacts and I don't think I'll ever let go of it I love it you want to get to walk in let's roll let's walk frolic day I feel like it's my most authentic self to shoot both digital and film you know so I think we have to roll like this today it's all of your uh commercial and work stuff is mostly digital, Mo right? For the majority, yeah. So I think my flow is, I like being able to just spray. And I think sometimes when I shoot a lot, people, I notice get more comfortable. They're like, okay, wow, she's really going for it. Like, let me, let me try a new pose or let me try something different. And once I find something that I really love digital, I'll usually be like, okay, hold, hold, hold on. I need to get this with the other camera. That being said, when I just go to the grocery store, when I'm going for a walk, I always have the contacts with me. I think the camera for me has just been an amazing source of joy. And like, yeah, hunting for joy and finding joy and kind of like focusing on, on that mainly has been my go-to. Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I take your picture? The beard, come on. I bet people ask you all the time. Oh yeah, nice nails. Oh, thanks. Compliments on compliments. I'm gonna take one with film too, okay? Sure. I'm happy to send, the, you're from Pennsylvania? Yeah. Welcome. Really? Yeah. Is that what people are lined up for? I figured yeah. it was Manhattan so Center. Parking garage over at 31st and 7th. I gotta remember that. 31st and 7th. Thank you. 31st and 7th, you got it. I'm in the parking garage here. Right here, three, two, one. What's your name? Dion. Dion, Laura. Nice to meet you, Laura. Nice to meet you too. How can I send you your picture? 31st and 7th, don't forget. Thank you. Have the best day. All right, Laura. Peace. <laughs> like, come on, so good. And I thought I wouldn't see anyone like look cool today. And you look amazing. And you're in the perfect spot. One more, okay? Perfect. Three, two, one. One more, stay right there. I guess I'm using flash today, why not? Three, two, one. You got the empire right behind you. I'm Laura. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll send them to you soon. Peace. Love the colors. <laughs> we need that in the winter, you know? Yeah, so I think part of my favorite, yeah, my favorite thing is being able to send people their picture. It's so nice. I have so many friends. <laughs> It feels good, especially because, I don't know, like growing up, my mom, before dropping off me and my sister and brother for school, I just distinctly remember her being like, give three authentic compliments today. And I don't know, that really stuck with me. I, I saw like, 
it made me visual or like focus on the visual because I was like, okay, what do I like? What do I like? And I guess maybe I could have given compliments about things that weren't visual, but yeah, I'd be like, you know what? I do really like her shirt. Hey, Stephanie, I like your shirt. <laughs> and like, and people would react so positively. And it was, my mom would also say smiles are free. So like those two things I think I've applied. Yeah, I've applied to my photography. Yeah, so just finding things that are, that are good and I like and are positive. And then I think people, you gain their trust a little bit because they feel like, okay, I'm being portrayed in a positive way. You're not, you're not trying to show, you know, you're not being, you're not being sneaky. You're not trying to show something negative. You think I look good and I do. <laughs> How often are you out shooting like this? Like just going around and- Dude, not enough. You know, I used to see you more often, but yeah, not enough. I certainly have like goals for myself. You know, as far as wanting to do more campaign work. Yeah, more commercial work. With stylists and just being spoiled like that. I love your hat. See, occasionally. But you know what? I won't like those photos as much. Even if they come out, I'll be like, eh, I don't know his name. He's not real to me. He's just a man with a hat. I met this woman recently. Um, her name's Lee Kim. And she had this like fabulous hat made of pipe cleaners. Anyway, turns out there's this whole story behind it, documentary about her in New York, New Yorker mag. And she makes them every single day, inspired by her daughter, but she, and she wears them from nine to five, and then by five o'clock she gives them away. So anyway, long story short, she gives me this hat. We become friends, but her, in her documentary, part of it was that, you know, wearing the hat, she wants to like get out of her comfort zone, but when she gives the hat away, she asks the person, you know, what's your name? And she's like, until you ask someone their name, they're not real to you. Like now, now when you get their name, they're in your world. And I was like, man, you just like summarized so much for me why I do what I do and why I like, yeah, I want the contact. I want to make it personal, you know? Sometimes it turns into a friendship. And I feel like once you actually contact people outside of that, that quick interaction, then when you, you see each other again in the city, it's, I don't know, it feels, it feels like there's a warmth. This guy looks cool. I love your glasses. You mind if I take your portrait? Just like that, saved right as you are. That's perfect. Three, two, I'm gonna get real close, okay? The chain, the glasses, everything. One more with film, okay? Three, two, one. Perfect. Wade, I gotta get your contact so I can send these to you. We don't wanna get one more with this like fabulousness behind you. Swing around right here. Hell yeah. It's a photo shoot, why not? Happy Saturday. It's about, yeah, it's about Saturday. more than money. I love it. Hold it, stay right there. Three, two, one. Last one, I'm gonna do a couple. Yo, your smile, don't save that. Use that, pardon me. She's cute too. <sighs> Perfect, I'll send you these later. And I got you on the gram. Perfect. Peace, Perfect. go spread joy. Isn't it tough when you're like photographing someone, but then you see someone that you really wanna photograph, you're like, oh fuck, I'm having this great conversation. And then, but yeah, she looks cool. I should have asked her, but it's okay. I think, I think a big thing for me too is like, sometimes you just gotta let it go. It's part of like the magic, not getting all the shots, you know? Cause then you're like, there's more out there for me. There always will be. Why do you think connecting with the subjects is so important to you? I guess because for me, I'm like, okay, cool. But the photos are so much more meaningful if they're in the hands of the person who I photographed. It's awesome for me, okay, it's like great work, more work. Oh, we have a Christian parade coming, amazing. Uh, yeah, it's more valuable with the people. Cause like, they'll probably like share it with their family or put it on their Instagram or, or it'll enhance their memory for that day, you know, and whatever happens to them on that day. Oh, one more, one more. Absolutely. I love the flower and the tie. Thank you. Who's the lucky person? Hold it. Oh, you know what? My film's out. One more, one more digital. Let's get you proper. 
Wow. I love it. What's your name? I'm Samuel. Samuel, Laura. Laura. Pleasure. How do I send you shalom? That's funny. Shalom after we had this. Well. <laughs> right here, okay? That is just perfect. Just like that. Three, two, one. You're perfect. One more. Just like that. No, three, two, one. Okay, self love, keep healing. You know? More time with family. Kids are the best, but I'm gonna ask. Do you want me to take one of all four of you? You sure? Alright. Come on. I don't like the way I look in the <laughs> You always look good. Come on, you're with your family. This is beautiful. Okay, ready? Okay, three, two, one. You want Subway in it? Okay, three, two, one. You know, if you go to the corner, we can get the Empire State in it too. That's it, three, two, one. And we're gonna get a cab. Okay, one, I'm gonna take one, I'll send it to you, okay? Okay, three, two, one. Okay, big smiles, let's go! Woo, big, three, two, one. Awesome. I got it, yeah, my pleasure. Have the best time at Lion King, you guys. You're gonna love it. Do you mind if I take your picture? I love your jacket. Love a good rejection. He's good though, look at him. He looks so cool, I'm going after it. For the record though, he didn't say no. So if he had said no, I wouldn't have, you know. Cause you gotta respect that. Well, you don't gotta. You don't gotta, sorry. For me personally, if you said no, I'm not gonna harass you. Also like, I don't, I don't want that picture then. He didn't want it, but he was like, yeah, you can. And I was like, you wanna pause? Nope, well, I'll run after you then. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't been out doing street in this capacity, like where the only goal is to like, you know, make friends. I mean, my boyfriend's gotten very used to like, he knows when I see something, I just fly off. And they're like, excuse me, excuse me. In fact, even better, he'll be like, I'll shoot it from the back and he'll be like, no, you gotta go get that. And I'm like, yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> I definitely got a lot of practice during the pandemic when I, I worked on this uh, photo series called Mass Smile and I photographed like hundreds of people uh, smiling, but with their mask on. Really simple, but it was really therapeutic to like be out in the house, you know, socializing, finding joy during a pretty dark time. Yeah, I think I, I was rejected a lot during that project. And understandably, like I had to navigate how close can I get to people? You know, do they even want to stop and talk? Like people were afraid. And also learn the rhythm of like name, contact, note section, like that became a flow. Yeah, that made it possible. But yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, I got really lucky. I was like featured on a bunch of different news outlets that just picked up this little project and yeah. What are your thoughts on traditional street photography where it's much less like... Less interaction? Less interaction, less asking, less permission and more of like the world is mine to make something out of it. Oh, I think all of those street photographers are amazing. I admire being able to do that, especially with film. Are you kidding me? I don't know, I've embraced that maybe it's not my style, but I also wish I could. <laughs> no, I, I love that kind of photography. I admire it. I do think the world is your oyster though in that way, you know? We're out here in the street. You might be photographed, you know? Hi, how are you? Do you want to have your picture taken? <laughs> what do you mean it depends? You're good. I'll, I'll share it with you. You're a nice looking guy. You're a veteran. You mind if I take your portrait? This is just what we do. We make friends, take pictures of people. Okay. You know, spread joy. So I bet it feels good to be in the fresh air outside. I gotta get a photo of you. You, that smile. Right like that. Come on. One more like that. Don't save your smile. You have a beautiful smile. Perfect. Elliot. Oh, yes! One more, one more. See, just like that. 
three, two, one. <laughs> Elliot, how am I gonna send you your picture? You have cell phone or email, what do you prefer? Oh my gosh, my pleasure. I hope your days get better and better. No more dying. No more dying? Yeah, there we go. You survive. That's a fact. I love that. Peace, okay? I mean, sometimes you just have to listen. You know? And it's funny, like, I was never, like, a very book smart person. But I definitely learn from, from people. Like, from having conversation, I learn. So, yeah, I love people. And some people just need, like, a second. Like, I don't know. He was going to approach us about something. I think other than photography. I don't know what, but it turned into something positive. He gave us a great smile. Sometimes I wonder if, you know, what I'm doing is, like, is, like, boring to look at. It's like, okay, all these smiling faces looking at the camera. And maybe, you know, this is why I always appreciate, you know, other kinds of moments. They're my moments, you know? They're my memories. Meeting that person. And I think like also like making, making people feel good. Like even my, my work work or whatever, studio sessions, whether it be like event or campaign, um, I like making people feel good. Like every studio shoot to me isn't just like a headshot session or a studio session. It's like a confidence boosting session. Like we're gonna be, you're gonna come in here probably feeling pretty good. You're gonna leave feeling even better. You know, I just want to reflect back to people like their their best self. Also, like it's really hard with street photography too, because like everyone's cute, everyone's cool, everyone would be a good portrait. Literally everyone. Damn. Another one. Last one. Perfect. Three, two, one. Perfect. Thank you. I gotta find you on the gram though. I'd love yeah. to check out your stuff. You're in my favorite shoes. <laughs> I love your look. Do you mind if I take your portrait? Yeah, you can. Yes? Okay. Can I put you right here? Yes. Oh my gosh, beautiful. One more, one more. I can send it to you. Okay. Are you visiting or you live here? Uh, no, I'm visiting. Nice. Look right here. Perfect. Three, two. One more with film. I don't know what to do. No, you're perfect. Just like you are. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. One more, one more, one more. How can I send to you? Uh, what's your name? Laura. Sorry I didn't do that earlier. Pleasure. I love your coat. We were just saying, so much black. We need colors. Yes. Thank you for the color. People warm up. It's so nice. I think that's like the self, like selfishly, that makes me happy. Like I'm like, yeah, I did that, we did that, both. Yeah, for studio shoots too, the most rewarding thing is seeing people go from being hesitant to like failing themselves. It's the best, it's the best feeling ever. Yeah, what are some other areas that you like to go to to photograph? Literally everywhere. I mean, I bring it every everywhere I go. Love Harlem. Harlem never disappoints, you know? Because I don't live up there and I, you know, I'm not like fully ingrained in the community. I have to, definitely have to ask before I shoot and just, you know, make sure it's welcome. Get rejected a lot more up there. Just because also it isn't like here where a lot of people are tourists and visiting and probably even have cameras on, on them too, you know? They're out here snapping away. I love, oh, Washington Square Park. It's too saturated with cameras, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like maybe people aren't shooting it the way that I am, you know, like making brief, brief little relationships. Actually, the relationships aren't brief, but the encounters are brief. Union Square used to be awesome. Like when I first moved here, I came here for college and uh, it used to be where all the dancers hung out. That was really nice. Yeah, she's cute. Hi. Sometimes just a hi too. I don't know, people always talk about how like, oh, as you get older, you become invisible. And I'm like, damn, I, it makes me sad that anyone would ever feel that way or that, or maybe that that happens, you know? Um, yeah, so I like to say hi to people. I see you. <laughs>
People are always interested in like people who are able to pursue a career in photography. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems let's get fully transparent. Um, so yeah, it's it's amazing. I'm very fortunate to be able to do what I'm doing. I have a part-time photography position at City University TV station, and I love what I do there. So as their staff photographer, I'm in the studio taking portraits of guests for interviews. I'm in the field getting B-roll shots of different things to all around the city to add to different stories. Yeah, all kinds of, all kinds of things random 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 things um but has gotten me very comfortable taking photos of you name it people dogs architecture <laughs> food <laughs> everything uh working with all different lighting conditions and outside of my part-time position i i started doing event stuff i think in the very beginning um as paid work and that was really exciting weddings family functions, bridal showers, baby showers, engagements, and all of those were and are really fun. And that has evolved into more work in fashion, campaign work, editorial. What's some advice for somebody that wants to do the type of work that you do? First, make friends. I don't know. I, that's how I've been so lucky to, to get the gigs that I have, you know, I haven't I'm I'm very fortunate like I haven't I haven't pitched my work really to people and like you know written to brands and said hey this is what I this is what I do here's my work people have come to me yeah um, I think I think make friends I think don't forget that it's not just about the photos and the skill it's about how you make people feel and I'd say more than half of it is like are you a pleasure to work with like did you come in with good energy and a good attitude and you're down to like pivot and still have boundaries but you know like if suddenly they're like oh let, let me add 10 things to the shot list you're like all right let's flow with it and then you let them know afterwards you know <laughs> next time please please let me know in advance keep shooting shoot a lot and then for sure you're never going to get hired for something you haven't already shot test shoots i mean it's it's tough you know i'm like 10 plus years deep into my career and i'm still doing tons of test shoots yeah i recognize that you know i'll never get hired to shoot a maybelline ad not that that's the goal per se but unless i shoot beauty stuff pretend like it's the gig and yeah sometimes you have to invest in it or have to find people who are down to style do makeup do hair those things matter. They really do. That's why, you know, and finding friends who are either down to do it on the love or to invest a little bit and, and pay people. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes too, you can turn something that is like a small paid gig into something that is a great portfolio builder. You know, like somebody who wants a headshot, but you know, maybe we can also soup this up and style it out and make this something that could be part of my fashion portfolio. Do you know what I mean? And you make it work for you. So sometimes even if the money isn't there, making it a portfolio builder is a great way to begin. And just to keep shooting, you know, keep shooting. Yeah. yeah. Keep shooting, be a pleasure, and invest in yourself. Yeah, invest in yourself. You're not gonna get hired for things that you haven't already shot. Yeah, Yeah. that's good. Yeah, but just keep loving it too. Like. I have friends who tell me like, man, when I pick up the camera, it's like, it feels like work these days. And I feel for them. I I'm, I'm feel really lucky that I, I don't feel that way, you know? But I'm a like compulsive documenter. If I'm not shooting with either of these two, the phone comes out. Like we're getting, we're getting this documented. Everything, everything's gone with me. Good luck to anybody who has to take care of all these files when I die. Good luck. That's, that's other advice just for humans. Photograph your family, man. Photograph your family. They'll be the most important photos you ever take. Most special, most important. I don't know, recently we had a bunch of friends and family members pass away. Not people that I was super, super close with, but family nonetheless. And immediately, you know, I just go back into my photo albums and I'm like, do I have a photo of so-and-so? Do I have, do I have it? And, and I did for, in all these cases. 
Um, and I'm like, man, I never really thought when I was taking these that I would cherish these eight frames so much. And like, good job, Laura. You asked for like a proper portrait of her 10 years ago. Way to go. Yeah, I feel like I remember, I, th I think about it more with like grandparents and people who are, you know, much older versus like think about it with like my parents or like my siblings but I'm like no this is just equally as important everybody are your parents have they gotten used to you taking photos or is that something yes. you've always, been, always been okay with I think they've always been okay with it it tolerates me I think I've learned too in certain moments I just gotta like chill out you know like they'll be like okay enough with the camera Laura like let's have some family time and I'm like you don't understand this is family time I'm you know some people are like oh just be in the moment and I'm like do you understand how freaking in the moment this makes me I'm like so in the moment right now with you that I'm like nostalgic for this moment in this moment these people can't say no they're asking for it I love your outfit do you mind if I take your picture oh yeah you look amazing. I'm gonna put you right here. Oh my gosh. Wow, beautiful. Oh, she likes it too. One more, okay? Perfect, three, two, one. And we get close, that's perfect. Three, two. I'm gonna use flash, stay right there. That's great, three, two, one. Beautiful, how can I send it to you? Um, Instagram. Yeah? Oh wait, I gotta get you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Thank you. Peace. See you. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. <Good> Thank you. <laughs> What's uh, the, like your favorite environmental portrait job you've done? Or notable one? Does that be your favorite? Favorite seems heavy. Yeah, I'm working on this series called Style Your Parents. And I have my friends okay. dialed their parents, but they're in their environment. And to just be welcoming into somebody's home is my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Not only do I feel like I know them better, I know how to sign better. Um, it's so special. I feel like it's not something that we often do now. Like growing up, yeah. we'd have playdates. And so you were opened into this whole world with like a friend. Where do you have a bunk bed? What does your kitchen table look like? Then you put your shoes when you walk in. Learning that about friends who are, you know, well grown us now. And she sometimes I'm even I get to see people's childhood homes. Oh my god, that's a gift. That's a gift. But hands down the best personal project I've ever worked on. Um, so rewarding, so for and really good for my soul, my spirit to have to have a personal something just for me you know without any goal outside of having a, like a family bonding day yeah documenting that love and but also making it fashion <laughs> and fun and it's definitely a confidence boosting session but yeah seeing people goals and being like hesitant or like why are we doing this what is this about who are you <laughs> but to uh yeah like didn't the series is is amazing it's been a gift i think i hope not just certainly to me but hopefully to everybody i feel like it's it's a day of family bonding you know and celebrating celebrating your parents i gotta photograph you guys you're part of my day all right come on get together i'm gonna use yes sir let's go three two one Oh, we'll do another one. There it is. Three, two. Perfect. Me? Averex. Do you mind if I take your picture? Just going to send it to you. It's just for fun. Your Averex jacket is what drew me. Is that okay? With the lollipop, you look perfect. Stay, stay right there. You can look right here. Perfect. Three, two. Amazing. One more. I'm going to take one of just the back of your jacket. Is that okay? I'll send these to you, of course. So good. How can I send them to you? Yeah, sometimes I also have to like remind myself. Everything's changing so fast and all the time. So the way that I look at photos of the subway in 1970, like one day someone's going to look at our photos from now that way. Oh, turn around. Gold helmet. Hold on. I love your helmet! Okay, 
take care of it, that's okay. Let me get you right here. I do too though, or I have to make people wait. Yes, I gotta get the whole fit, these shoes and everything. Let's let the cab go by, that's perfect. Swing! One more, one more, one more. Three, two. I like to back up with the little digital. Thank you. Yeah, that's sick. You were in Houston recently. We were out there and I got to take some amazing portraits of the different slabs. Yeah, it was amazing. We saw one whip and we were in the car on the highway. Of course, everywhere is a highway in Houston. And he was like, I was like, oh man, I wish I could photograph that. And he's like, really? Whips the car around. We followed the car onto this other block where there's like five of them parked outside. And he was like, he leans out the window and he's like, yo, my girl, my girl wants to take some photos. You know, of you in the car, is that cool? And they're like, a little side eye at first. And they were like, yeah, that's cool. And they see me pop out of the car with like these two cameras and I have like bigger lens on here. And they were like, oh, word, word. And I was like, oh my God, I love this community. Everybody wanted their picture taken with their car. And I did the same thing that I do here. I got everybody's name, got to chat with them about their car. Yeah, I shared their photos with everybody. Such a very rewarding experience. But always cool, you know, when you like, you don't anticipate that you're gonna get to do any like street work and... Radu, I gotta get your picture. I'm photographing everybody that we, uh, you know, that's my style, man. Hold it. Three, two, one. Perfect, love it. Who were some of your favorite photographers? Uh, growing up, I had Annie Leibovitz, Rolling Stone covers all over my wall. So, you know, classic, probably everybody, many people say that, but I like how she poses people and captures people in like really dynamic, different ways. Um, that like captures their personality and their their vibe. So I always loved Annie Leibovitz. Danielle Levitt is probably my favorite photographer. Um, I love I love her as a person. I love her photography. She captures joy a lot and personality and the energy she brings to set. I've had the privilege of being on set with her a couple times, and it was just like. She's one of those people, or at least in my life, one of those people who I've like idolized for so long and then I met her and she was even better in person than like even my imagination. Um, but yeah, she has a she has a book and a series, I guess, that she did quite a while now ago. Um, but the book's called We Are Experienced and she travels pretty sure just the United States, but capturing different teen subcultures and uh, photographs them in their environment. So again, environmental portraits, but man, so, so well done. And just like, I could sit with that book forever. You just wanna like pick apart everything in every photo, like down to like the nail polish color or like what kind of cigarettes the kids are smoking or like just little details. And I, and I love her lighting. Pretty sure she uses strobe for those, but there's like a consistent look over all of them. Anyway, I just love her use of color, what she gets out of the subjects, the joy, um, and she hypes people up on set, man. Like she, she's a character and I just, yeah, I, I, I love her, I love her. So yeah, those are the two. My mom would love if I became the new Bill Cunningham and I wouldn't mind either, but I think I just like am so drawn to, yeah, shooting so many different things. But yeah, I only met Bill a, a handful of times. And I think when I met him, I was so nervous. You know, hi, Mr. Cunningham. Like, I was so excited. Um, yeah, because growing up, my mom would always open the style section and then open his spread of, you know, in Sunday styles. And uh, she'd be like, Laura, look, polka dots are in this season. And I'd be like, yeah, mom. Or like, it's pink, it's pink this fall. <laughs> you ladies look so nice. Do you mind if I take your portrait all together? I'll share it with you. Just right here. Don't worry about everybody else. They'll go around you. Pardon me, right? Nice yeah, shot. Yeah. Gorgeous ladies. Nice and close, okay? Yeah, the lighting is great. That's okay. That's perfect. Three, two, one. Beautiful. You live here or are you visiting? Visiting? Who do I send the picture to? 
Laura, Thank sorry you, I Laura. didn't do that. My pleasure. <laughs> Have the best day in Soho, you guys. Uh, thanks so much. Finish the sentence. I take photos because. Love. <laughs> I'm supposed to like make it a complete sentence? No, I mean, you, no, you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would say. Love, memories. Solo? Okay, you look perfect. You are a star. I'm gonna use a little flash. You look beautiful. Three, two, one. One more. I gotta get the whole thing. Three, two, one. And one more. You look perfect. How do I send this to you? Thank you so much. Just what's your first name? I'm Laura. I'm Terry. Terry? Terry. Terry, pleasure to meet you. Thank and you so much for stopping. And, well, you're just taking it's just for myself. Grand yeah, grand I just, beautiful people and beautiful things that I see, I like to photograph, and you're definitely one of them. Thank you. Yeah, okay, Terry. Peace, okay? Model, and I just moved to the city. Uh, no, we Welcome. Yeah. Let's take some pictures. Right. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna put you right over here. I'm gonna put you right on that corner, that triangle, right up here. Yeah? And just let everybody go around you, okay? You know what to do, though. Look right here. I love it. One more. Stay just like that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And one more looking right at me. Beautiful. Perfect. Cool. That's something to start. But this is a good corner. Oh! This is another amazing <laughs> photographer. Photograph my friends. Lean up on the pole. Owen's used to this. Oh, yes, sir. Wait, wait, Yeah, that's perfect. Three, two. Couple with film. You know how I do. Of course. Couple wide. Why you look so fly? Are you working today? Yeah. Owen. Yeah. Photograph your friends. Photograph your family. Photograph everything. What's your workflow after you take these photos? Like on a right day away, like this? instantly, right tonight. Away. Yeah. Every time? Yeah. My boyfriend knows. The moment I get home, after a snack. Pop that memory card in. Oh, and I'm gonna drop off this film today. But yeah, I feel like when I'm fresh off of all these interactions, A, I'm really excited about seeing the pictures. I'm like, oh, I hope they came out. Cause even though I'm shooting digital, I don't really look much. But yeah, right away. Right away I edit and send out. If I wait, it feels like work. Cause this is the part that I like. I don't like post-processing. So we're going to, is it Elise Digital or Elizabeth? Oh, it's Eliz. Eliz I always yeah, say- Yeah, Eliz Digital, right? Yeah. Your I'm lab, like, you've been going here. You've actually developed a relationship with the, the yeah, owner. Yeah, Chunika. Owner? Yeah, owner. The owner. Yeah. Owner, she took over for her brother. Um, yeah, she's amazing. We all go to the ballet together. We like have gotten dinner together several times. Get tea with her. Yeah, we hang out outside of there. But yeah, she's she's very, very special person to me. Yeah, so we have like a little tradition. You'll see, whenever I go and drop film, I photograph her, she photographs me. And she's just so kind. Like, I see her, I mean, she's done it for me, but even with other people, you know, she's like, people have come in, they're like, I bought this at a flea market, I'm not really sure how to load it. And she'll like, even if she doesn't know how, she'll like be patient and like learn with you, which is so nice. Like, again, demystifying the whole like film process. This is my spot. I think I just have three rolls to drop off. I gotta get you in here. Hi, you. How are you? Trinika. How are you? How are you? Hi, I'm Paul. Do you know Polly? You are a busy lady today. Oh no. Now it's busy? Okay, let me get you. Three, hold it. Three, two, one. Perfect. <laughs> Marlon's home. He's home? He's home. Relaxing. Oh my god, look, you have this hot over I know, it looks so big. It looks like a monster next to this one. But yeah, I should get you with, with digital too. Let's go. Uh oh, I gotta change my settings. There we go. Beautiful. Nice, thank you. You're so busy. Okay, I let you go. Love you. Yeah, we'll catch up later, okay? Peace. Oh my god, I did nothing. Love you. You'll see Paul again. Bye, you. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of Walkie Talkie. Laura, thanks for spending the day with me. Paul, you're the best. Uh, let the people know where they can show you some love. Find me on Instagram. It's Laura S. Fuchs, F U C H S, or my film page, which is 
Fuchs with film. F-U-C-H-S with film. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Peace. Hey, Lord. Peace. <laughs> now when they see us in the streets, all they want to do is take